Well, hello. Thanks for coming back to check out another video. So, we are here today because we are going to start a new project pan. This is the second year that this project pan has been around. It was created and started last year. I am waving a deck of cards around, so you probably know what it is. It is the deck of panning, year two, round two. I did not join in last year, but I had so much fun watching everyone else and like following along and always looking at like the game board to see like what kinds of prompts you could get. I am getting just a little bit ahead of myself though. So this is a project that was created for a lot. I'm still getting ahead of myself. This was created by Emily. Her YouTube channel name is Emily and Max. So I will make sure to have her linked above and down below for you guys. I'm also going to link her intro video that she put out because she really goes over like the rules and how to play and like follow along and things like that. So go check that video out as a source. I'm just going to like briefly go over it just in case you're seeing this first as opposed to hers. So she was inspired by a uh, do they call them booktubers? I, I don't follow any booktubers, but uh, it was a channel called Books with Maddie, I think. And this um, card game for them was a way to like pick and choose like what to read from your to be read list. So Emily reached out to her and asked her like, hey, can I adopt that and use that for like makeup panning? And she said yes. So Emily came up with this. She comes up with all the prompts and things like that. It is so much fun. So I'm very excited to join in this year. It's going to start on January 20th and go until December 20th. So you play with a deck of cards. I have my Virginia Tech cards here. Um, you draw five cards and so you'll draw the first one like, you know, Jack of uh, Diamonds. And so this corresponds to something on the game bar, game board. So all of the face cards have are split into two groups by color. So the red face cards have one set of prompts and then the black face cards have another set of prompts. And then your like numbered cards um, by suit have different prompts as well. So she also shuffles the game board before the 20th of the month. And so that way, like, let's say you draw a five of hearts this time and you also draw it at your next update. It's probably not going to be the same prompt, so that keeps it fun. The face cards, though, they do stay the same throughout the year. So, like I said, you draw five cards, you get your prompts, and then that's how you pick out, like, what items to, like, either finish off or hit some type of goal on. And then this is rolling. So the only other thing I think that I failed to mention is that you do have to have one joker in your deck of cards because the joker is the like, are you joking me prompt? Like you pick something that would be really hard for you to pan. I think a lot of people probably pick black eyeshadow or things like that. But you know, you could also put in like a blush because those take forever to use up or like a, you know, like a black eyeliner, um, just whatever. It's really up to you. So I do have my joker in here as you can see. Again, I will leave everything in the description box, Emily's video, the link to the spreadsheet in case you want to see the game board and things like that. And I believe the hashtag is deck of panning or deck of panning 2022. But again, it'll all be down there for you guys. Okay, so since my joker is at the bottom of the deck, I need to give it a shuffle. And this is the part where I show you guys my amazing shuffling skills. Like, look at this. Aren't you so jealous? I can't do the tenting or the campfire or the, is it called the bridge? I don't even know what it's called. I cannot do that. So we're just going to do this version. I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and just kind of shuffle these around and then I'll come back to you. All right, so hopefully I shuffled these very nicely. I'm just going to draw my five from the top of the deck. Um, I know some people do that like where they fan it out and then they'll look at them uh, or not look at them, but they'll draw them like kind of randomly. Maybe we'll switch it up and do it that way for other updates but for this one we'll just draw from the top of the deck so the first card is the it's a diamond oh it's the ace of diamonds okay so that's a face card so then our next card is the queen of spades all right let's hope for some like uh number oh look see numbers five of spades that's three two more cards this is the seven of diamonds all right and then we have the Jack of Clubs. So that makes for five cards. I will, um, what we'll do right quick is I will try to pop up a picture of the game board. So first let me tell you just so you can see it. Now I don't know what the prompts are, but I will read off the 
cards to you and you should be seeing the game board so then you could kind of see what we're going to get into. All right, so we have the Ace of Diamonds again, the Queen of Spades, and the Jack of Clubs are our face cards. And then for like our number cards, we have the Five of Spades and the Seven of Diamonds. So like I said, I have no idea what these are. I'm going to go figure that out, look at the game board, and then I will pick out my items and I will come back to talk to you about what I have chosen. Okay, so before we can get into all of the products, two of my prompts are actually like randomizing like kind of prompts. So the Jack of Clubs that we drew is a random color generator, and then the Seven of Diamonds is a random like A to Z shape, or I don't know if it's random. Don't take my word on that, but I have a sea of palettes, as you know. So for me, I think it would just be easier to randomize the letter of the alphabet and then pick like a shade from there. So I will first pull up the random color generator that I have on my phone. You can see when you first open it, like it gives you a color. And I know the ring light is gonna cause a glare, so I'm gonna screenshot the color and put it up on the screen for you guys so that you can see a more accurate view of it. But we will hit the little randomize button. And we got like this interesting kind of purpley color. Again, I will screenshot this. And so then I'm going to pull up the random letter generator and it just says tap to start. So N, okay, so I will pick a shade with an N name and then pick a pick something that matches that color and then I will be back and show you all of my products. Okay, I do not even wanna tell you how long that took. I love all the prompts that I got though, like I'm super excited to start this. Uh, so the, I don't remember what order I drew these in and I'm very sorry about that. So we're just gonna go like, I'm just gonna pick them up, okay? So the first card that we got was Ace of Diamonds, which was actually pick your own space. So how exciting. So I went with uh, Six of Hearts, which is spray. So I picked a setting spray because I'm not currently working on a setting spray and I thought it would kind of be the easiest thing to roll in. So I have the Pretty Fresh um, Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray by ColourPop. You can see this is a brand new full bottle, never been used, but now is the perfect time to pull this out and start using it. So I'm gonna have the goal to try to finish this off because once it starts getting pretty humid and like more warm here, I'm not gonna be able to use this and it's, not like terribly old. I think I purchased this sometime in the fall of 2021, but I would rather get it worked out and not have it just lingering. So this is what I'm going to roll in for the pick your space prompt, which then I picked the setting spray prompt. So the, like I'm just picking up, it's kind of funny. These first like few things that I'm showing you are like the easy ones that I've came up with. So the five of spades that we drew was actually concealer. So I picked out my Rare Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade 140C. I don't know. I think you guys can see like all that nice windowing that's going on in there. Now I have not yet taken the stopper out of this or anything. So I'm not sure. And it was laying on its side like this in a drawer. So I don't think this is where like where we're at but that looks to be where most of the product is settling so maybe about right there i'm gonna leave this sitting up for a good like 24 hours and then i'll be able to see like where it settles and i'll mark it um but yeah i think the goal will be to also finish this off which some pretty lofty goals but you know we're gonna do it all right so then the next card that i will go over with you was the seven of diamonds and for this card this was the um a to z like an A to Z shade. Oh, did I like kind of, yeah, because it's A to Z brand. You know what? I messed up because I picked my product out. I couldn't find anything. Our letter was N and I couldn't find anything with an N shade that would like work and like fit in with my life. So I went by the brand, but now I'm realizing that I messed up and I should probably fix this. Let's play by the rules. So hold on. <laughs> All right, so I fixed it. I found like a shade that starts with the letter N. So I randomized the letter. I don't think you have to randomize the letter if you were playing along. But again, this was the seven of diamonds. So for Christmas, I received this after I did my makeup inventory. Um, so it doesn't count like in my low buy kind of things because it was a gift for like Christmas. That's besides the point. My friend gifted me this little like Bite Beauty 10 and it has four of their uh, mini it's a four-piece mini power move creamy matte lip crown set 
and it is the Millennial Pinks. So there are some very pretty shades in here. The first shade, I do not even know how to pronounce this, so I'm going to leave the shade name on the screen for you guys, but I've already swatched it out right here on my hand. I think you can see it. This is a really pretty shade. I feel like I could get a lot of use out of this. So now since this is brand new coming into my life, there is not going to be like a goal to finish it up. I don't even know like how much product is. Oh, you know what? That's what's in there. Should we try to finish off a lipstick? <gasps> I don't know why I just had to smell it. Um, It's brand new. <laughs> hmm, That's really tempting. Mm, let me know what you guys think. Should we do a usage goal or should we be brave and like try to finish this off? Because this is a super pretty shade. I could rock this all year round and not even be mad at it. Also, I have like a hard time with like gifted items. Like I want to save them for like a special occasion, which is silly because if you gift someone something, wouldn't you be super happy if they like used it up, right? So I maybe if I like push myself to use this up, that would actually get me out of that mindset. But yeah, that is what I'm going to roll in for the in shade. Okay, so then the next card that we had was the Jack of Clubs, which I love. I really wanted this prompt. I didn't realize it was the Jack of Clubs prompt, but it's a random color generator. And so we randomized that together. I can again pop up over here maybe on the screen a picture of that color. Now obviously we just have to try to do our best when matching this color. So I went through my eyeshadow palettes because that was the easiest thing. Like I know I don't have a lip color or anything like that that matches that. But I pulled out my Sugar Drizzle um, palette. This is the Frosted Flamingo. And I looked in here and this shade right here, this Flamingo Baby, I'm going to swatch it out for you guys. But I think this is really like very close and comparable to the shade in that picture, like the color of it. So this is a really nice like shimmer shade. This one I don't believe has any like shiftiness or duochrominess to it maybe if I come back here uh, and you can see it hopefully but yeah I think that's a pretty good spot on like representation it just looks so washed out in the ring light I'm so sorry but if I feel like it wasn't um, like you guys didn't get a good picture of it I will put up a picture of the actual swatch but yeah that is the shade that I'm going to go with and I think my goal is going to be oh this is hard. Okay, we're in the year 2022. So I'm going to make the goal to use this shade 22 times. Um, yeah, it's a very pretty like light purpley shade as you can see. But I don't think it's a shade that I would get like everyday use out of. So I don't want to hit pan in it. But I think 22 uses will put a nice dent in it. And it'll probably like encourage me to reach for this palette as a whole more. All right, so then the last card that I got was the Queen of Spades. And so this card was a really fun one, but this honestly took me the longest to like figure out what I was going to do. So the prompt for this is represents another project. So <laughs> there are so many good like project pans out there. So it was hard to like just pick one, but the one that kind of like kept coming back where I was like, it, it's the one that hit my mind first. And I was like, mm, I don't know, that might be like too hard, like too adventurous to take on. But it just kept like eating away while I was trying to think of things. So I'm just going to go with it. So I'm sure you guys saw Sophie Alexandra put up her like project level up project pan. So that is an eyeshadow centered project pan. She randomizes her palette. I did not randomize mine. I just picked one. Um, but she randomizes her palette. And so for like level one, she has to use every shade in the palette one time and hit pan on one shade. So then like for level two, it's use every shade two times and then hit pan on two shades. And she's going up to level five and then like resetting herself back to level one. When I first saw her video, I was like, girl, this is genius. Like this is great. But I didn't know like I just had a lot like going on and I really want to take this year to kind of maybe just play around more with my eyeshadows. So then when I got this prompt, I'm like, well, this is perfect. I can join her in for level one. So I did pick out the Butte Bean and Shroud Cosmetics. I know it's Batty Bean now, but it's gonna take a while. She had that name forever. Um, but this is the It's Freaking Bats palette. This is actually what I have on my eyes today and I'm so in love with this. I just think this is a fun palette. Like the formula is really nice. So here is what this palette looks like on the inside, you guys can see, I really like this color story. However, this is one of those palettes where it like, 
at least for me, it makes me have to really think about my eye look and what I want to put together. But I love that about it. But I also don't want it to like sit neglected in my drawer. So that's why I picked this one. But yeah, so my goal in honor of the Project Level Up that was created by Sophie Alexandra, I'm going to use every shade in this palette one time and hit pan on one shade. Now, I do not know what shade I would like to hit pan on. I think I'm just going to take this first month to kind of like play around and explore and see like what shade I'm just naturally gravitating towards because obviously I think in a month this is only a nine pan palette. So I can definitely hit the using every shade like one time aspect out of this, but the hitting pan in one shade is what's going to take a while. So I want to make sure that I pick like a good shade. Let me swatch this out for you guys though. That way you'll have like an idea of what we're working with. All right, so here is the It's Freaking Bats palette all swatched out. It is so pretty. I really like this formula. I think that this is going to be so fun to play around with so yeah like I said I don't know what shade I'm going to pick to hit pan on necessarily but I will definitely play around with this palette use every shade the one like required time and then report back to you uh, in February on which shade I will be hitting pan on all right so that is it that is my introduction to the deck of panning project pan please go search out use the hashtag I'm not sure if there's going to be a community playlist but please go check out everyone else check out Emily I will leave everyone that I have referenced in this video that like has a YouTube channel or an Instagram account or anything like that I'm gonna leave all of that information in the description box for you guys so that you can go find what it is that I'm exactly talking about and yeah, I am very excited. So I will just catch you guys in the next video. Bye.